beauty, it has been said, is in the eye of the beholder, but sometimes it can be found in the palm of your hand. The Vita Easy Shade Compact elevates the art of shade matching to new levels of control, ease, and accuracy. Powerful, sophisticated, simple to use, time-saving, reduces errors, gives great results. This is the latest generation of shade matching technology from Vita, the Easy Shade Compact. Okay, I've just received my new Easy Shade and I'm going to open the box and put it together. When you open it up, you're going to find Vita Easy Shade Quick Start Guide, the complete manual, user manual, um, a CD uh, which has some software on it which allows you to export uh, the shade data out to make a prescription form. So it's prescription software called Shade Assist. Some comments on warranty and a very, very quick how to put the unit together. So let's have a look. Um, take the base plate out of the unit. Take the calibration holder out of the unit. And you can hear. Uh, this is very good. It comes supplied separately because if you are actually using this product, you can take this off of the base unit and autoclave it for cleaning purposes, if you wish. To put the unit together, you simply align the two components and twist. The Easy Shade proper, which is turned off, and a power accessories, which you'll find in the box. And basically, it ends up, you'll be putting on a plug and, of course, the power cable into the base unit. There is a slide on plug for the mains. You are ready to operate. I'm going to show you the automatic uh, method of calibration. You'll notice that the unit is now powered. The power uh, cable is going to the base unit and you can see the rear of the unit is illuminated, telling me it's, it's charging. The unit, when you're first using it, should charge for eight hours and after that, the nickel hyd hydrate battery has no memory. You can charge it anytime you like or just simply leave it on charge. Take the unit out of the power holder and here is the power plug into the unit. And when you take it out, literally press any button to turn the machine on. And you can see that the animation is telling you to calibrate. Now simply place the whole unit into the holder. And the difference here is that you actually push the unit forward. You don't touch any buttons in this method, in the automatic method. Underneath the calibration block is an electronic switch. And I'm going to show you that again, because at any time you can recalibrate in the automatic mode. Putting it in and pushing slightly forward, either pushing forward or pushing down, will automatically calibrate the device. And it will always return to the last shade taken. And we were, in our previous shots, using it in the tooth areas mode. Now we can go to our patient and simply take the shade. So today I'm going to take the shade of my patient using the Easy Shade Compact using the manual calibration technique when it's not powered to an outlet. So take the unit out of the base and by depressing any of the buttons the unit starts. And you can see here a flashing icon telling me to calibrate. Before doing so I'm going to apply a cross infection shield or barrier. And the pocket for this is located below the blue disposable wrapper. I tear it off and pull the shield tight over the hook like so. Now I'm going to calibrate the unit by placing it in the holder. And in this mode, in the manual mode, I depress the button and wait for the second flash. 
and the tone. We've now calibrated and we are ready to take the patient's shade. I'm going to be using the tooth single mode which is highlighted here on the screen. When I observe the patient, if we're going to take her, the shade of her front teeth, I, I recommend steadying your hand if you're right-handed and placing the probe onto the tooth where the most color is. Now I press the button and I get a shade result. And there it is, B1 Classical or 1M1 in the 3D Master Shade System. And for this exercise, I'm going to compare the shade of the patient using the shade guide. I'm going to be using the 3D Master Shade Guide. And in this method, we select the appropriate brightness of the patient. And we can see instantly that she's in the one group. So I reach for the actual guide itself. And I'm going to pull out one in one. If you could open your mouth a little bit for me. And I think that looks really a nice match. If you could open your mouth a little bit for me. And I think that looks really a nice match. So now I'm going to turn on the tooth areas mode, okay? Start with the cervical. Mid third. Open for me. Okay, so we're going to talk about taking shades in the posterior region. The easy shade does allow for that, of course, being such a narrow footprint and a narrow probe. So I'm going to ask my patient, first of all, to open her mouth. Thank you very much. Firstly, I'm going to take the shade of a cervical or buccal area, just to show you how easy it is. Now, easy shade allows us to measure curvature of the teeth, even though the, the probe is flat. And here is a result. Very simple, and I know from my own experience that the colors look very good. The only thing I want to ask my patient, if you could open again for me, is you have to be careful if you're using Easy Shade to go onto the occlusal table. This is not recommended because we have a lot of enamel here, but if we did try to take a shade, you will get a result, but the shade can often be darker. And why is that? Because we're measuring translucency. So I don't really recommend you use it for the occlusal table just for the cervical or buccal areas. We can take a shade of a patient and at any time you can opt to see the optimal block for that patient. You can do this also after the patient has gone because the data is collected in its 25 individual shade memories.